Objection, ma'am. I am not making an application. I gave you an affidavit of fact. It is your duty to dismiss this case because this court has no jurisdiction and the complaint warrant according to the governing rules of the courtroom for the state of New Jersey hasn't been signed. Is there anything else that you want to tell me before I make my decision concerning whether this case will proceed with a lawyer or without a lawyer? Uh, I would like to say for the record that jurisdiction hasn't been proven. I agree with you. I agree with you that you have raised that issue and it needs to be resolved. And the record shall so reflect that you have raised it and that I have told you that. Anything else you want to say? Until this court can prove jurisdiction, these proceedings are colorable, fraudulent, and I will be proceeding with the law because it always provides a remedy and I will be filing criminal charges and I will be filing criminal charges and, and civil suits in federal court regarding this issue. Anything else you want to say? Nothing else for the record other than jurisdiction hasn't been proven for the record. Right. And I'm here under threat, duress, and coercion. Is that everything you want to say? I have long ago concluded, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to uh, render my ruling now, then. On April 22, 2008, an indictment was filed. It was handed down by the grand jury. And the title of the indictment, and it's indictment 2008-04-0441. And the caption of the indictment is the state of New Jersey versus Brandon Casimir, also known as Cheyenne M. Casimir L. There is another defendant, Cornell C. Dixon, also known as Colonel Chauncey L., Objection, also known as Cornell Hall. I'm not Brandon Casimir. There have been lengthy discussions in this courtroom with regard to whether Brandon Casimir is a real life person not a real life person, oh. someone who used to exist, who doesn't exist now. There's been a lot of discussion about that. The Moorish American Aboriginal Indigenous Sovereign Man who stands in my courtroom this afternoon has advised me that his name is Cheyenne Matuto Kushamir L. Objection, ma'am. My name is not Cheyenne Matuto Kushamir L. That is my attribute. A name is a name or label of a corporation.
Well, this is a new piece of information. I've never put on the record, ma'am, for the record, that I, my name was Brandon Kazimir. A Moorish American Aboriginal Indigenous Sovereign Man I am, who stands yes. in my courtroom today has the attribute. Cheyenne Matuto Kushamir L. Mutota. M U T O T A. The issue in the hearing today. As, and, and, and when I say today, it has been continued several days, is whether the Moorish American Aboriginal Indigenous Sovereign Man with the attribute, Shyam Mututa Kushamir L, can continue his involvement in this litigation without a lawyer. I have used the words pro se. He objects to that. It is my understanding that he wants it to be impropria persona sui juris. In the state of New Jersey, we have started to talk about self represented litigation, litigants. However, you call it. The issue is the same, and that is whether this person can continue in this litigation with or without an attorney. The indictment as to Cheyenne Matuta Kushamir L charges three things. In count one, it charges possession of a controlled dangerous substance to wit cocaine out of an incident that arose in Mount Laurel on October 24th, 2007. It further charges in count two, third degree false documents, and alleges that there were, it, it alleges in the indictment, a fraudulent U.S. Department of State public minister credential in the name of Chief Minister Cheyenne M. Kusumir L. as a means of verifying a person's identity. Objection, ma'am. And there is the same allegation made in count three, except that it is a fourth degree crime. Objection. That, that indictment does not say Shyam Kushamir L. Of concern to the court today and always, and under the line of cases of Prasapi, Reddish, and most recently, State of New Jersey versus Pascal Dubois at 189 New Jersey 454 is whether a litigant knowingly and intelligently waives the right to be represented by counsel when he or she says to the court, I don't want a lawyer. Objection. I already stated for the record that the Aboriginal law firm has power of attorney of the Cheyenne and Total Cushion Mail. The inquiry that the court must make deals with certain requirements set out in Krasafi. And it really comes down to whether the defendant understands the nature of the charges, the range of punishment, the technical problems associated with self-representation, whether the person is able to understand the rules of procedure and evidence and understand that he or she will be required to comply with them, whether the person understands the lack of legal knowledge of the law, the procedure will impair the defense, whether the defendant understands and appreciates the impact and the danger and the pitfalls of appearing in the dual role of a defendant and an attorney, whether the person understands how unwise it is to proceed without assistance from an attorney. I have attempted this afternoon and the last time this matter was before the court to obtain from Mr. Kushamir L Objection. answers to the questions I'm not a mister. And find out 
whether he understands